Was anybody else involved or anybody else's property? I have to go. No. Okay, single car accident. Welcome back to Time Serve, the channel that scans the docket so you don't have to um, fill. And we have officially hit 20K. And as we set our sights to 50, I just want to take a second to thank all my mods, supporters, people in the chat, anyone who has sent me a clip. And I especially want to say thank you to Monica, Laura, Grim, Mr. Wexler, and all my OGs since day one. Once again, I thank you. As for today, we have a red-headed pill-popping stripper in Judge DeSanto, a constant disturbance in Judge Bryant, and does she go at it with one of her own attorneys? <whistles> Life lessons and fruit strike gum in Judge Boyd, and a monster Karen from the vault out of SeaTac. She thinks the jail conditions are deplorable and she needs bottle water. How dare you give her from the tap? And then I have a new judge I've played before, Judge Miriam Perry. She has a passive aggressive Karen. <sighs> Classic videos you only see here from Time Serve. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. Set your notifications to all and never miss the daily docket. Let's roll, nerds! We have dialogue with APA Burdell. He is availing my client of the opportunity for the Holmes Youthful Training Act, which would uh, make it a non-public record and give an opportunity to have this case ultimately result in a dismissal. I've reviewed her advice of right. She understands and is prepared to enter into that plea. <coughs> Mr. Burdell. Uh, Your Honor, that is a correct statement of the... Um, that's, a correct, that's a correct statement of where we're at and what the offer is. Uh, diversion was offered, but unfortunately, um, after meeting with the patient, it, it was not continued to offer us. Uh, and so, yes, yeah, so I am offering Haida at this point. Uh, it's, she is twenty. She was 25 at the time, so it would be prosecutors Haida, not statutory. All right, but you're saying you're consenting to that. Yes, Judge. Yes, right. that, is, that is the offer. That is our consent to it, yes. All right. Um, uh, is that what you want to do, Miss Means? I mean, I was trying to talk my lawyer into dismissing the case because he told because of the this means we had a dialogue regarding that, and the prosecution is not we willing did, to dismiss the case I at this time. I talked to you multiple times about seeing if it can be dismissed, but if that's not the route we're going, then I'll accept the plea for the probation. So. Well, Miss Means, this is the date and time set for pre-trial. You yeah, have the right to, to, to a, oh it. wait, hold on just a minute, Miss Means, I was, I'm still speaking. So you have the right to a trial by mm -hmm. jury where six people from the community could hear the case. You can have mm -hmm. this court alone hear your case, or you can plead guilty, and seek the Holmes Youthful Training Act. Those are your three options. Okay. Well, I guess I'll just go with the uh, thing that he requested to me that I agree with him on. I mean, I don't get the point in this case, but I guess that's the route that I'm going to go. Your Honor, I don't want my client to feel pressured. I'd ask for a brief adjournment in this case so I can not judge. Anything. I don't feel comfortable in the circumstance with her entering to a plea with this ambiguity. If we could do a very brief adjournment and I can have a further dialogue with Ms. Means. I agree to do what you asked of me. I'm just giving my side of what I felt. She asked the question. I gave her an answer. And, and, and Judge, just to clarify, I'm not asking my client anything. So I, I just I, I feel it would be appropriate for a brief adjournment. Is there adjournment. a way that I can request for a new lawyer, please? What I'll do, um, what I'm going to do is adjourn this matter until How August do I 16th. So, Ms. Means, there's an issue. Like, if I'm talking, then you I know, have I, to I'm sorry, be I'm quiet. Sorry. And then okay. if you have additional questions after mm -hmm. I'm done speaking, then you, you have the opportunity to speak. But we can't speak at the same time. Everything is being recorded. Okay. 
So what I'm going to do is adjourn this matter until August 16th. Does that work for your calendar, Council? It does, Your Honor. I'll set it for 9.15. Between now and then, both of you can have the opportunity to speak. And then if there's any issue in terms of what I believe you were asking about, um, we can, at that point, um, you can put on the record if there's still any sort of issue um, with, in terms of you were asking, is there any way you can get a new attorney? But first, what I want to do is adjourn this matter, give you all an opportunity to speak further. And then um, if there are further issues at that time, we'll go from there. Can I say something? I'm done speaking, so certainly. Thank you. Um, I honestly have nothing further to talk about. I gave what I said, and if that's not what we're going to move on with, I don't know. So I told him that I would agree to take the probation. So I don't know what's more is there to talk about. All right. Well, um, the issue is the information you're presenting today, how you're presenting it, everything is on you. This is your case. It's not Mr. Shemke's case. Uh, and so with that, when a person presents the way you're presenting, um, I have no objection to adjourning the matter so that you can fully understand what's going mm -hmm. on, what your rights are, and then make your decision. It's not your attorney's decision. It's not this court's decision. It's not the prosecutor's decision. It's your decision. And so that's why I'm adjourning this matter. So you can make a decision, not what someone else, you're, you're saying you're doing what someone else is telling you to do. You have all your rights. And to um, preserve your rights, I'm going to adjourn the matter. I'm not doing what someone else told me to do. I'm saying I wanted him to fight for dismissal, but since we, that's not the choice, then I will agree to what he's put in front of me or get talk to me about over the phone. I'm saying if the miss was not going to work, which I wanted, then I will agree to the probation. But clearly right. it's like this missile is not going to work. So that's why I'm saying I'm agreeing to the program. All right. I'm, I'm free. Um, Mr. Shemke, how would you like to proceed? Judge, I have no issue with having the matter go forward today. I did have an in-depth conversation with my client. I do appreciate you informing uh, my client that I do not have the authority to make a case be dismissed, that it is the prosecution stance, and we availed an option to keep this off the record. If she understands that and is knowingly, willingly, and voluntarily waiving her right to a trial, then we're happy to have the case proceed. Um, in this matter, Judge, and I, I wish that I had the okay. power to get cases dismissed, but I don't. All right. So what I'll do is I've set the new date. I can put you all in a breakout room. If you want the case to be recalled, you can let me know. Otherwise, it's set. So, Madeline, can you put um, Mr. Shemke and Miss Means in a breakout room? And then we'll go from there. If you determine you want the date I already set, you, you're you free to not come back. But if you want me to take the plea today, you're free to come back into the courtroom. Thank you, Judge. Yes. You saw me swear from the testimony about skin. That's gotta be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Yes, ma'am. All right, thank you very much. And detective, you may proceed on the warrant. Uh, you're right on July 29th, about 1.15 in the morning. Officers observed a vehicle traveling in the area of personnel without any exterior head, headlights or lights on. Officers soon conducted a traffic stop and made contact with the driver. Later identified as defendant, Chelsea Ann Charnock. Officers reported that they observed an open container of alcohol in plain view on the passenger side floorboard. Officers then observed a glass, a, a glass crack pipe with Troy Boy, also in open view. The defendant was asked to exit the car at which time she complied, and she was detained in the rear of a marked patrol vehicle. Officers further reported that a total of 10 miscellaneous pills in a clear, unmarked plastic container were discovered inside the defendant's purse. Officers also noticed that several other drug uh, paraphernalia items were discovered inside the defendant's vehicle. 
I'll just confirm the pills to be acetaminophen, hydrocodone, uh, six pills of that, and four pills of a dexmethinidate, Schedule two drugs for drugs.com. The defendant was then advised she was under arrest um, for possession of dangerous drugs, conveyed to the station where she's booked and held. A MAPS report was later completed, uh, indicated that the defendant did not have any RX prescription for the recovered pills. I thank you. Upon examination of any witness, I find the offense charge or committed. There's probable cause to leave the defendant committed those offenses. And uh, counsel, your appearance, please. I'm calling behalf of Ms. Charnock, who's appearing by Zoom from the land bed jail, Your Honor. Okay, thank you. Actually, for clarification, she's in the Wyandotte Jail. And your P number, counsel? 69571, Your Honor. All right, thank you. Ms. Charnock, your name, please, for the record. Your name, for the record? Chelsea Charnock. All right, thank you. Now, it did not come through. Counsel, add to the arraignment. Client will stand mute or waive additional reading of the charges, Your Honor. And we'd like to talk about bond, please. The court will waive the formal reading. May I be due the right to have an attorney? If you cannot afford one, the court will appoint one to represent you. In fact, you've, you've exercised your right to have an attorney and you retain counsel, correct? Yes. You also have the right to be presumed innocent and proven guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. You have the right to have a trial by a judge or by a jury. You also have the right to remain silent. Anything you say orally or in writing may be used against you in court. Do you understand those rights, ma'am? Ma'am, yeah, do you understand those rights? Yes. Okay. And the court's going to enter plea of not guilty on your behalf. Schedule this matter for probable cause conference on August 10th at 9.50 a.m. I'm sorry? Okay. All right. And so counsel asked to bond. Your Honor, is retained by uh, Ms. Charnock's family, her mother. Uh, they have asked that I pursue a PR bond. She works. She, her mother is very involved in her life. And we ask the court to grant that. Come on, baby. All right. Detective asked to bond. Your Honor, I will be uh, requesting a $500 cash bond. Uh, the defendant does not have uh, much of a CCH, so um, just a $500 cash bond to reassure her appearance back and forth. Okay, ma'am, where do you work? Silver Cricket in Hayward Heights. And how long have you worked there? Uh, about a year. What do you do there? I'm a, I'm a stranger. <laughs> and have you ever failed to appear in court for any reason? Yeah, um, I, I had a limit for not going to court in 2021. I crashed into a bar. All right, is that, is that war still outstanding or did you take care of it? Um, it's still outstanding, but we're working on swimming. And I just started doing what? Yeah, I believe Your Honor, I've been retained. Yeah, I've been retained. I've been retained. I've been making payments on it, and I've gone to court for it since then. Okay. I'm sorry, what's that, Mr. Kohler? I've been retained to handle her. There's an additional case I think you're talking about, Woodhaven. So her, her family has paid a not insignificant retainer for me to re represent Ms. Charnock. Uh, I assure you she'll be those? showing up to court. Okay, and what are those charges? I think it's just a, it's a warrant possibly for a traffic ticket, Your Honor. I, I don't have the details. Right, what, what's happening in, from, in, with the matter from Dearborn from May of 2023, where it's assault and a dangerous drug, both misdemeanors. What's happening with that? I have no awareness of that, Your Honor. I have to consult with my client and her family. Ma'am, what's going on with that case? I believe that case was dropped. They uh they tried tried to encourage the traffic warrants what that was picked up on. Defense of is what was they were called for. They put me in tether and put me home for a month and um since then charges were dropped, got my bond back and everything. 
Pam, if you were tougher today, what's in your system? No. I'm sorry? <laughs> oh. Okay, you're not coming through. Well, I can't understand what you're saying. No. No what? There was nothing in my system? Is that was the question I was asked? Yeah, so yes. what would be touching your system? So nothing. All right. Mm -hmm. Given the fact that there's a uh, there's a history of defendant not appearing, she doesn't live um, she doesn't live too far, but she's not exactly local. The court's going to indicate five thousand dollars, ten percent fine. You're not to possess, consume the alcohol or drugs unless prescribed, and we'll see you back on August tenth. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Thank you. All right, and we are still on the record. Any other, um, the you all must be you sir. Why would you? This is ridiculously ignorant. Okay, um, some somebody must have transposed the uh, p numbers, right? That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, all right, I'll fix it. Thank you. All right, good, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, when prompted to do so, please unmute and state your full name for the court. When prompted to do so, unmute. I said when prompted to do so. This person on this Tino, you are so disruptive to my court proceedings today. You've been disruptive all morning. You've been disruptive all morning. You have been disruptive all morning. Miss Howard, I'm going to send you to a breakout room to speak with the lawyers. Please accept to join breakout room number six, Miss Howard. Oh, yes, Your Honor. I uh, sent you a chat. Oh, okay. Thank you. It's not true. It's not true. I'm looking at the order. I'm looking at the order. Who who said that? I'm looking uh, at who? Miss Bumpus. Hold on. Where did I do it? This one else. Oh. So you telling me that Brittany Lungowski did not get ordered to pay $810. And then her order does not say, shall not violate any laws, must report monthly, must notify probation officer of change of address and work status, shall not use or possess any illegal substances, shall not use or possess any marijuana without a valid medical marijuana card, shall not use or possess any opiates without a valid prescription and letter of ex explanation from the doctor, shall not drive without a valid driver's license, four weeks of anger management, must continue with mental health treatment, maintain no contact with complaining witness, Crystal Harris. You're saying that's not her order? Uh, everything is listed except for um, the continue with mental health treatment. I have this order right here in front of me. So what are you saying? It's too oh, old. No, I'm looking at the order of delayed sentence that's in the file. Okay, Jesus. All right. I want proof of her mental health treatment before I discharge her from probation. Um, I just can't imagine why that wasn't on there. You know, respectfully, Ms. Langowski has followed the, the court orders and has Mr. continued. Mr. Gregory, I want proof of her mental health treatment before I discharge her from probation. She has indicated that she has been in treatment even before she was sentenced. Getting proof of that treatment is, is immediate and easy. <laughs> I understand, I'm Your not, Honor. It's I'm not discharging her from probation until I get proof that she is is in the mental health treatment. 
<laughs> Anything further? Because I'm going to give her a week to get us that treat that proof. Yes, I just do. I, I just want the record to reflect that the she did follow it. the record reflects the, the court Mr. orders. Mr. I'm not going to argue, Your Honor, but I would I would listen. Mr. Your Honor, Gregory, I would like to make this, Mr. Gregory, Mr. Gregory. I want proof of her mental health treatment. So if you if that is going to reflect, I'm amending the order to be what I said on the record because we can get the transcript. So if your I'm Honor, that's order your Honor, that's true. What I said so on the, the record, but you did the an order was Mr. filed. Mr. Gregory, do not ever interrupt me. If we if if it's a, an issue of me amending the order to reflect. What I said on the record, then that's what I'm doing. I'm amending the order to reflect what I said on the record, which is continue in mental health treatment. And since Ms. Langowski has said today that she has continued in the mental health treatment, then it's no issue. I don't even know why we're discussing it. So she's going to get the, the proof that she has continued in the mental health treatment and then we're, I'm going to discharge her from probation. Anything Understood, Your Honor. But everything that is, is an amendment Gregory, on the, on the record going, should be discussed. This is going south. It's really going south at this moment. It's really going south. I'm not going. I'm going to say this for the last time. That's my order. That's my order. I'm going to say that for the last time. That's my order. Miss Langowski, how long is it going to take you to get I, of the mental health treatment? I can drive up there right now and get the paper. My, I go down the street to therapy. So do I just upload it somewhere or send it somewhere? Yes, you're going to send it to, you can send it to Miss Bumpus or you can send it to Mr. Flanagan. And then I have Your to Honor, come if back. you can get that paperwork in today, would that be able to, would it be able to be this? Absolutely. Do you do you need Mr. Flanagan's email address? They may not be able to give it to you today. But if they give it to you today, you can send it today. And if uh, not, they gave, they gave me one. My lawyer was Scott Wainburn, but he's not my lawyer anymore. So I'm assuming he didn't upload it. But they gave me a paper back when I was supposed to do all this. And I thought it was all uploaded. But they'll, they'll literally give me a sheet of paper today saying that I'm in treatment. Okay, well then, let me give you the email address to send it to. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm ready. Christopher C-H um, R-I-S T-O P-H-E-R dot Flanagan F-A-L N-A-G-A-N N A G A N at three six T H District D I S T R I C T Court one word District Court dot org Christopher dot Flanagan at thirty six T H District Court dot org That's the numbers three six Okay. If okay. you tell him that today, I will dismiss the matter with prejudice. I will remove the conviction from your record and I will close the case with improvement. Okay, thank you. If you cannot get it to him today, call the courtroom and let them know when they say they can get it to you, okay? If for okay. some reason they can't. So do you need the courtroom phone number? Uh, yeah, I was supposed to call Ms. Bumpus after court today, too. So I can send it to both just to make sure it gets there. Okay, that sounds great. Okay. And what's the court number? 965-2295. Okay, thank you. All right, you're All right. welcome. Have a great day. Stay safe. Me too. Thank you. Mr. Flanagan, send me that order because I'm trying to figure out why you have a different order than I do. Okay. Thank you. And now, 
A Life Lesson from Judge Boyd. But Sean, I've noticed I've been saying uh a lot. You know, my mom always says if you hang around the barber shop at some point in time, you're going to get a haircut. I think I've gotten a haircut and I didn't want one. So each time I say, uh, bless me. Because my mom was, my mom is, is saying, oh, no. I remember I was four. And don't ask me how I remember this, but I do remember it clearly. You know, when you would go to the doctor for your checkups. So I went for my checkup and I knew a shot was coming because my mom had zebra gum with her. And that's what she would always give you, the zebra gum. So I go there and the doctor was asking me questions and I kept saying, "Mm mm-hmm. And so when we got back to the car, my mom said, do not say, "Mm mm-hmm. Do not say, um, it's yes or no. And she said, she should have been saying, yes, doctor, no doctor. I'm like, sorry, I'll remember that. And then she said, here's your zebra gum. (laughs) So that's why whenever I see the zebra gum or cinnamon gum, Give me the bad news now. What's going on? All right. Yes, I'm Mr. Rios. I miss when um, this is City versus Kelly and 382522202. Um, this case is on for arraignment. Um, how are you doing, Miss Gwen? It sucks. Being in jail? Yeah. Is this your first time being in jail? Is this jail? Why am I in jail? Did you talk to Mr. Ayanati about this? About something that happened yesterday? That's me, Miss Wayne. Okay, what are my charges? Um, malicious mischief and resisting arrest. I didn't resist arrest. Miss Wayne, I don't want to talk about the facts, but do you remember talking with me? I did, not. did you talk to uh, Mr. Ainati? He's the man in the um, in the in the box with the number two on it. Did you talk to him earlier today? So, what is your name, Miss? Miss Wynn, do you remember talking to me? Yeah. You walk up and you ask me. And your Honor, I think we just asked to address the conditions of release, and I, I think we are going to ask to have her evaluated either, depending on what the court does, either in custody or out of custody. Um, what is the city's position on release? They do understand uh, that at this point, we don't really have history that's known uh, on the part of the uh, defendant. However, the city does believe that defendant is a high risk flight, failing to appear, and risk of disruption to administration of justice. This involved, as the court knows, by reviewing the police report, public cause of extensive or expensive uh, property damage. And really, it is real court. The yes, level this, of resistance. Just, 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 just one, just one moment. One moment. All right. Okay. If it's real court, I want to file. This is this is real court, Ms. Nguyen. This is real court, and right now the prosecutor's talking, and we're going to let her make a record. Go ahead. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Uh, the defendant had to be tased, uh, and drugs were found on her. So, I mean, at this point, I, I think it would be difficult to ascertain if. Ms. Nguyen, can you put the video back on, please? Can I go home, please? 
Can you please put the video back on on the iPad? I, I understand that, but I need you to put the video back on, please. And I need food and water and a clean. Mr. Nadi, do you think this might be something that will resolve tomorrow? Um, I, I don't, I, I don't know. That's the thing is it, yeah. she, I, when I questioned about use, there's, she said no. Um, and so I don't, I don't have that information. So if the court wants to set it over, we can, but I know that it seems that being in custody is causing pretty significant anxiety. I saw, I did see her yesterday. I didn't talk to her yesterday, but I saw her and she was in the same exact position that I saw today, which was just standing at the glass at the door, staring out the door, because um, I went to see somebody else and I happened to notice, but I didn't realize it was uh, see that case. And then when I went back there today, she was in the exact same position. Um, so that's, I guess that's our, I don't have an answer for the court. Okay. Ms. Chenwaller, what are you basing your argument that she's a flight risk on? Do you have any information? Oh, thank you, Ms. Quinn. I appreciate you turning your video back on. I am basing that at this point on her level of resistance with law enforcement and the way she's connecting herself today. That she's not going to comply with court orders and return to court. We don't at this point really know if that has to do with drugs or mental health. And that that's what I basically want at this point. Um, I have nothing. There's nothing in her record that says to me that she won't abide by court orders, and it may be that. Um, no, and I understand that, but given the level of, yeah. of the alleged resistance, I'd have to ask for a minimum five hundred pressure bond to fifth on each of the two charges. I don't know if the court is um, going to set. Conditions I would request that those include the contact with the Motel 6, and I have the address of the court. I'm hungry. Can I get a breakfast? It's like 9, 10 o'clock. I need breakfast. Okay, I'm getting out of it so you can. No, I can't. Okay, great. Ms. Nguyen, Ms. Nguyen, can you please listen to me for a minute? Um, I need food, though. I can't do this when I don't have food. Um, I don't have food. I need food. It's breakfast, and I haven't had breakfast. I haven't had medical care. I haven't been read my rights. I haven't had any charges. I barely have food. I have no fucking water. That's how you guys are treating me. Is it humane? And I'm bleeding. And oh, then Ms. I didn't even look at Where's my medical care? Ms. Yeah, Wynn? That's I'm no. Wait. No. I am entitled to my rights. So please okay. give me my food, give me my rights, give me my, a nurse, give me, give me my charges, and stuff like that. You've been read okay. charges. But that, I didn't even got my Miranda right. So um, I'm going, ma'am, I'm going to release oh. you on your on your promise to here. appear. I'm, on, I'm going to release you. So you're going home today. Yes. On the condition, <laughs> on condition that you attend all future court appearances, have no new criminal law violations, update your address with the court and DOL immediately if there are any changes. The address we have on file is on 51st Street in Seattle. Is that still where you can receive mail? Can you receive mail at that address, ma'am, on 51st Street in Seattle? Is that your, is that your, your address on 51st Avenue South in Seattle? No. Do you have anywhere you can receive mail? Ms. Nguyen, if I wanted to send you a letter, where would I send it? Post office. I'll pick it up. General delivery in Seattle? Yep. General delivery. Um. Can I get some food? Hey, she said she's releasing me. Can you let me out now? Um, 
And no contact with Motel 6 at 16500 International Boulevard. Mm -hmm. I don't have coffee. I can't sleep. I'm gonna. I don't have water. I'm very thirsty. I'm also ordering that. You, I'm also ordering that you not use or possess any alcohol, non-prescribed drugs, including marijuana, or possess any drug paraphernalia. Of course, please. I'm so hungry. Why are you guys starving me? Um. I am gonna order a out of custody 1077 evaluation. Speedy trials told pending that. Can I get some food? I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. Why are you treating me like this? No, seriously, talk to me. Why am I being here? Talk no, no, to just set this over here? till May. I don't want to. I think if she's out of custody too long, we'll answer. So I'm going to set this for um, May 5th at 8 30 in the morning. Are you releasing me? Yes. You cannot do this because you know why? Because I'm very depressed and sad. And it's hard to fix someone that's like that after being through a lot from their family, losing their fiance, not getting married, losing all the friends, and being. But in a place like this, yes, you get very sad. You can't fix a person like that. It's called depression. Okay? That's why I'm like this. Okay. Well, Ms. Nguyen, we'll see you back here on May 3rd at 8.30 in the morning. You'll need to come to SeaTac Municipal Court. Come to SeaTac? Yep. Can I'm I appointing go out and get some water, please? I'm appointing Ms. Dryanotti's firm to represent you, so you need to stay in contact with them, too. need water and food. You guys have water and food, right? Why can't I have water? You guys put stuff in that water. I'm not drinking it. I want a bottle of water. I know you have a bottle of water. Can I have a bottle of water, please? Please. You know, you know I deserve a bottle of water. Miss Green, you can give the iPad back to the officer. This room it feels like very sad to me. I can't fucking be in here. You can't fix a person like this. Please help me help you. You don't even know why I'm here. Please give me a bottle of water. Don't make it hard. Why are you trying to control me for? I'm an adult. Uh, and your honor, it sounds like we are going to have a Burmese interpreter, and I think we can probably get Ms. Don or Mr. Don resolved. So if the court okay, okay bring him back. Yeah, I'm going to make sure the uh, agent bring him. I'll go grab him. You're trying to deprive me of my human rights. No, you are not giving me food, and water, and a nurse. When? When? 702. 702 is 832, Mr. 832. 832. Give me more water and more food. Then go get it and I'll give it to you. I'm not hurting you, am I? I'm not hurting Ms. you. Ms. Nguyen, can you give the iPad back to the officer, please? No, I'm very thirsty. I'm about to pass out from dehydration. You're going to give me water. I'm just being starved out here. I can't do any, ma'am. I can't do anything about that. I'm not at score. Can you please give the iPad back to the officer?